Clarence Stevens, right? Uh, no, I just look like him. Actually, I'm Elroy Aspinwall, uh, the well-known professional uh, flycaster. Look, you can't keep running forever. Why don't you and me just step outside and we'll see how tough you really are. Okay. Why don't you go out the back way and wait in the alley? I'll be along as soon as I finish my drink. <laughs> Oh, I beg your pardon. That's okay. Hey, aren't you the guy that KO'd Kovac? Look, I just came in for a nice, quiet drink, so... I've been wanting to meet you. You really creamed him, huh? That thing with Kovac was an accident. An accident? Twice? Yes, twice, now, if you don't mind. Not so fast. You know, I don't get it. You don't look as if you could knock out my grandmother. <laughs> well, let's just say I was lucky. And forget it. I guess those stories about Kovac having a glass jaw are true, huh? Yeah, that's right. A glass jaw. Now, uh, do you mind if I sit down and finish my drink? Sure. Right after I've tried a little experiment. Experiment? Experiment! I'm the prettiest, and I've got an iron jaw, so bust me one. <laughs> what? I mean it. Give me your Sunday punch. I'll bet you can't even make me blink. Well, go on. Give it your best, put it to the test, and I'll put you to rest. <laughs> now, look. <laughs> you laid him right out. It, it, was, it, it was an accident. You know who that is? No, and frankly, I don't care as long as he's not another contender. Well, that's no contender. That, that's Tommy Carter, the champ. <laughs> Sam? Sam, where are you? Sam, where are you? Who, who you calling for? She changed herself into someone else, so... You! You're Sam! That's right. Sam, what did you do with Harry? <laughs> Harry? Harry went home. <laughs> Sam, I've just about had it. Now, I'm warning you. When we were married, didn't you promise to love, honor, and obey? <laughs> Do you want to be my wife or don't you? Anything you say, mister. <laughs> Only wouldn't you be just as happy if instead we got to be very good friends? <laughs> Here we go again. I'm making the front page more often than the astronauts. There you are, darling. I swear to you, I came straight home after I left your office, and I haven't been out of the house since. And you kept your promise. Mm-hmm. I should have known you would. Well, you've got to promise me that you'll stop getting in fights with world champions. Honey, I didn't fight him. I fell on him. My feet got all tangled up. A likely story, Tiger. I will promise you one thing. Hmm. That was my last mount. Then you're going to retire undefeated as champion? You can, I'll drink to that. Hi. I should have known it'd be you. Darren, I didn't come here to exchange insults. You just want me to knock a chip off your shoulder. <laughs> Hi, Sam. He's all over the papers again. Tommy Carter came up the office looking for you, champ. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all right. I straightened out everything. You did? You did. Larry, you're a good man. <laughs> Fact is, he's now working for us. For the agency? <laughs> well, not exactly. But he's agreed to appear at the Advertising Club's annual charity ball. How about that, huh? Larry, I've said it once and I'll say it again. You are the greatest salesman in the world. Uh, what's he going to do? Say a few words? Oh, better than that. He's going to box four rounds with an opponent of his choice. <laughs> with an opponent of his choice? Larry, you didn't. It was the only way I could get him, Sam. <laughs> oh, great. Don't worry, darling. Everything's going to be all right. It will? Sure. I'll be in your corner. Together, we'll be unbeatable. <laughs> 
Yes, sweetheart. Did you have a nice nap? <laughs> what did you do to her? I made her fall passionately in love with the teddy bear. Well, you can just make her fall passionately out of love with the teddy bear. Oh, don't be such a ninny. She simply likes the toy. Don't worry, sweetheart. You'll have another bear in just a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, but someday you'll understand. <laughs> See that, Mother? Uh, we walk in and she stops crying. <laughs> That's quite a girl you've got there, Darren. <laughs> Samantha. It looks like your little leg with your teddy bear. Oh, if, I'd, if I'd known she already had one. Oh, Samantha, you should have told me. Well, as a matter of fact, Samantha was so busy fixing dinner, she just forgot I brought it. You brought it? <laughs> oh, well, I think that's terrific. She'll be the only girl on the block with two teddy bears. Make it three, and you can change your name to Goldilocks. Mother, <laughs> <laughs> why don't you run down and see if the roast is ready? Certainly, darling. I'm always glad to help out. <laughs> Mom, uh, why don't you give her your bear? Here you are, darling. Now the teddy bear has a... <laughs> Looks like she's a one bear girl. Don't be silly. She couldn't possibly know which is which. See? <laughs> Can't tell the difference, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. She's quite a girl. Well, shall we all go downstairs and. Have a drink? <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, you, you run along. I'll be down in a moment. Run along. Mm -hmm. Oh, run. <laughs> I don't know. All right, Tabitha, now we'll just... <laughs> oh, no! Anything wrong? Oh, I know. Well, when you look at that. Uh, it's really nothing. It's uh, just a dancing well, bear. Well, no wonder she liked this one. It's incredible what they can do with uh, children's toys nowadays, isn't it? This bear is identical to the one I brought. Look. Look, the same brand. Mine doesn't dance. Have a look at that. Well, uh, actually, it uh, it is the same bear, but... Uh, I fooled around with a little. Uh, uh, you know how I uh, love to tinker, Pop. Oh, yes, I do. Well, it's really very simple. Um, you just uh, invert the positive and the negative poles, and that causes a uh, reverse magnetic field. <laughs> and then that... Uh, it's the old Mexican jumping bean principle. The old Mexican <laughs> jumping bean principle and zap the bear dances. <laughs> Sunday, do you really make that bear dance? Old Mexican jumping bean principle. <laughs> well, that's terrific. It is. This is just what I've been looking for. Now, you leave everything to me. I'll find a manufacturer and arrange the financing. Your office can handle the advertising campaign. Son, we are going to make a million dollars selling dancing bears. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Frank, for heaven's sake. Phyllis, we've raised a genius. If everything goes the way I think it will, within six months, we'll have Oscar the dancing bear in every crib in the country. <laughs> Samantha, do you mind if I go lie down for a few minutes? I think I'm getting one of my sick headaches. <laughs> Here you are, Tabitha. 